Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the September 2022 reading for the zodiac sign of Gemini. Welcome fellow Geminis. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages that I receive, as well as the meaning of the tarot cards. I do have a recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this month. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. Uh, but with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in, Gemini, and get started. In column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close, so last few weeks or month. Column number two, we're going to take a look just in general, what's coming for the month of September. We're also going to do a money column, a love column, and in the fifth and final column, we're going to do a message for our future self or spirit guides. We are also going to do three yes or no questions, a crystal, a crystal of the month for you, and a healing note. But again, let's see here. Starting with column number one, which is what's wrapping up and coming to a close, pulling a summary card here, Gemini. Your card is influence. Um, I really like the influence card for a couple reasons. This is a good reminder, one, to focus on the things that are within our control, within our influence. And two, this is a reminder of just how much we have influence over Gemini. And I guess part three to this, I said two, but it's really three. This is about not being influenced by others. Um, so lots of good meanings behind the influence card. But let's see what messages we got coming through here for the last few weeks or month. The first card that we have is the death card. I always like to throw this out here. The death card does not actually mean death. It does indicate though big changes and it's time to move on. It's time for an ending. It's time for this rebirth and this transformation. And this isn't just like, uh, oh, I changed my, my uh, furniture around. I switched the pillows on the couch. This is like a significant change, like to the point where it's a transformation, Gemini. Um, it's something big when we see the death card. It's big changes. It's a big transformation. Um, so definitely going through some transformation these last few weeks. The next card that we have is the Two of Wands. This is a card of waiting for results. You very well could have been waiting for this transformation. Um, this is also a card of having to make a choice. Anytime we have two of something on a card, it's an indicator of a decision. Um, so this decision just this decision didn't just happen, Gemini. It's something you had to push and drive forward. And then at the bottom here, we have the star card. I like to see this coming off of this transformation. This is a card of renewal hope and our clarity. Um, it's like this transformation really was worthwhile. You got an immediate lift of energy and immediate renewal, more hope, more clarity, all wonderful things through this transformation. Let's see what clarifiers though I can provide you here. The first clarifier we have is the Six of Swords. I'm really not actually surprised to see the Six of Swords. If you take a look at this card, everybody's facing away from us, their heads are hanging low, and their sword's stuck in the boat. But if you look at the boat, the boat is moving in a forward, positive direction, Gemini. This too is a card of necessary transition. Transformation, change, transition, call it what you want, but we are going through these changes, this transformation, uh, this transition. And this is an indicator that it's a necessary transition. This is something that had to happen. So I'm gl so glad that you did it, Gemini. Um, for some of you, this could actually be physically moving or relocating as well. Sometimes that transition is a physical transition. The next card that we have is the Strength card. The Strength card is a card of self-love, self-respect, unconditional love. And with the lion on the card, this is a card of courage. This may not have been an easy decision to make. Um, this could have really like tried your courage, Gemini. Um, but this decision came from a position of self-love and self-respect, which makes this transition so much more meaningful. And at the bottom here, we have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is a card of loss, regret, um, it's interesting, this is just a card of low feelings, and 
you might be like, why do I see this? Well, we still grieve transitions. Even if we were leaving something behind that maybe wasn't good for us, we still grieve it. The nice thing though, this card is paired with a very positive card here with the star, which is again that renewal of hope and clarity and energy. Um, so if you are feeling these kind of low feelings, you're grieving this transition, uh, your energy will definitely be restored through this. But again, even when we leave something bad, sometimes we're a little sad, Gemini. But now let's take a look at our next column, which is just in general, what's coming for September. We have the card Alliance. Alliance is a card about using or utilizing your resources. You have this really wonderful alliance. You have this really wonderful support system, Gemini. So going into this month, we need to make sure that we utilize it as needed. Utilizing our alliance. And let's see, oops. I guess you can have those two together. I didn't mean to do that. But let's see what messages we've got here, Gemini. The first two cards that came out together are the Knight of Swords. If you take a look at this card, the horse and rider are moving very quickly with the Knight of Swords. This is speed, action, quick change. So be ready for a fast shift coming into the month of September. The other card that came out with it is the Nine of Cups. Love the Nine of Cups. This is wishes coming true. This is material abundance. This is good health. Um, if you've been struggling with your health, it's like you get better overnight. Um, there could be some money that comes very quickly this month given the Knight of Swords. Um, and then in general, this is saying the things you've been wishing for, the things you've been hoping for, praying for, manifesting, coming to you quickly with that Knight of Swords as well. The next card that we have is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is very reliable, very hardworking. I like when I see the Knight of Pentacles because this is like cause and effect type energy. You worked hard for this and now you're being rewarded. So I like to see the Knight of Pentacles. Um, so even though wishes will be coming true, it's not like you did nothing, Gemini. You put in the work, you've put in the effort, you've put in the time, you've been reliable, consistent, and now you're being rewarded. And then at the bottom here, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. In the case of Ace of Pentacles, this is typically new job, raise, promotion, investment, some sort of new income. Um, so definitely some new money cards coming in for you. Actually, really, all three of these cards here are very strong money cards. So new money, Gemini. Let's see what other messages we've got here. Um, this is interesting. We have some truth cards coming through. The first one we have is the Page of Swords. This can be a very gossipy card or a very curious card, but this is also a card of truth. And it's like you've been working hard and now you're being seen and you're being rewarded. So that's those wishes coming true, that material abundance, that good health. It's like it's come to light exactly what you've been doing and how hard you've been working, Gemini. The next card that we have is the Justice card. This is also another truth card. This is truth coming out. Um, and more than anything, I feel like this is you being acknowledged, appreciated, validated, um, being rewarded for what you've been doing. The Justice card is absolutely that cause and effect card too. If you remember just like 30 seconds ago, Gemini, I told you the Knight of Pentacles was a cause and effect card because you did this, now you get this. That's exactly what the Justice card is saying too, because you did this, now you get this. Um, the Justice card is a great card for legal matters, contracts, things of the court as well. Um, so that indicates positive outcomes for those items. And then at the bottom here, we have the Ten of Cups. For those of you that have watched my readings before, you know the Ten of Cups is my favorite card in the entire deck, Gemini. This is the card of everything wonderful. Everything that you could possibly want. We have a nice, beautiful, full rainbow of cups at the top here. A happy couple, kids playing, the grass is green, the water is running, there's a house in the background. I love the Ten of Cups. It's a card of family, contentment, total love, total support. Again, it is everything positive and wonderful you could want. Um, I feel like you're like going towards the Ten of Cups this month, which I love to see. And this new money is taking you to this place. This new job offer is taking you to this place. Um, so really being rewarded for all of your efforts. And contentment doesn't sound that grand, but there are very few people that can say they're content in life. So the meaning behind the contentment in the Ten of Cups is more important than sometimes we realize it to be. 
But now let's take a look at our next column, which is anything related to money. So think job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments that you have, Gemini. Let's see here. It does seem like there's some new money coming in, uh, potentially a job change for you in that general September reading. But let's see here. The first card that we have is the Hermit. This is a card of going within going within for clarity. This is about doing things that feel good for you. It's about being on your own personal quest, your own personal path. Um, this is seeking fulfillment. Um, I like the Hermit card. This is always a reminder to check in with ourselves and make sure we're doing things that feel good for us. So keep that in mind going into September. The next card that we have is the Two of Swords. Anytime we have two of something on a card, it does indicate a decision, Gemini. So there's going to be some sort of decision that needs to be made this month. And it's going to be more important than normal, possibly, that you are checking in with yourself and making a decision based on what feels good to you. Making sure that you're making a decision based on the path of where you want to go and who you want to be. Then at the bottom here, we have the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a card of celebration. So whatever this decision is that you make, it's going to be celebration worthy. You're going to be glad you made it. This is also talking about a good support system. And we had our Alliance card too earlier, which is a good support system. Let's see what messages, what clarifiers we've got here. The first clarifier we have is the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is very active. It's new project, new creative idea. Generally speaking, I feel like if the decision is between continuing to do what you do or do something new, definitely see many of you going down this new path, Gemini, with the Page of Wands. We want this new project. We want this creative idea. Um, there's very active uh, energy here. It's like a fire being ignited um, in a very good way. Again, but it's because we're looking at what we want and we're going after something we're passionate about. The next card that we have is the Temperance card. The Temperance card is a card of balance, harmony, moderation. Um, with this decision, there's going to be balance and harmony too, which I love. Anytime I see the Temperance card, it's like a breath of fresh air because I don't know, maybe it's just me, but something seems to always be out of whack. So anytime we're getting more balance and harmony, it's a blessing. like to see it anywhere for you. So with the decision, there will be balance and harmony, which is great. And then at the bottom here, we have the Three of Cups on the Three of Cups. If you've watched my readings before, you also know that I love when this happens. When we get the same card on top of the same card, it's like the universe saying, I said what I meant. Um, so very clear, distinct message. Definitely whatever this decision is, Gemini, is going to be celebration worthy. We're going to be very happy we did it. And again, that circle of support is coming through really strong there too. Now moving on to our next column, we're going to take a look at anything related to love. So think family, friends, relationship, children, whatever you associate with love, Gemini. And let's see here. Our first card is the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is very patient. This is always a good reminder, not saying you're not patient, Gemini, but a good reminder to be a little bit extra patient this month with your spouse, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, children, family, friends, you name it. Patience is key here. This is also a new job, raise, or money news. However, when I see in the money, or when, excuse me, when I see in the love column, oftentimes this is money coming into our family, friends, spouse. This is money surrounding you. So this could be a new job, pay raise, um, some sort of new money for somebody you're in a relationship with or your roommate or again a family member there. The next card that we have is the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is a card um, of feeling a little unfulfilled. We need to take a deeper dive into this Gemini but there's like something that we're not feeling super fulfilled about as it pertains to love this month. Um, so we need to figure out how we can get some fulfillment there. And then the Five of Cups is kind of echoing that message. This is this card of low feelings, lost regret, feeling unloved. So we're feeling a little less fulfilled and a little less loved this month. So we need to take a look as to why that is or see what other messages I can give you there. The first card that we have is the Ace of Swords. Anytime we have an Ace card, it is a card of newness. The Ace of Swords is new idea, new clarity. Um, again, I was saying you need to be a little bit more patient this month, and I'm hoping that I'm providing you with clarity as to why you need to be a little bit more patient. Um, but like something's going to come to light, and you're going to be like, oh, 
this is why my kid is having a bad day or why my spouse is having a bad day so if you can be patient up front but if not Gemini there will be some sort of clarity as to potentially why you would need to be more patient um, this new job could come as a surprise too so this could just be like awareness of this new money coming in that's surrounding you the next card that we have is the ace of wands again anytime we have an ace card it's a card of newness the Ace of Wands is new project, new inspiration or urge to create. Some of you need to shake up your routine, Gemini. Like you need to go out on a date night, try a new activity together. Um, you need to spice things up a little bit uh, in order to get over this feeling of unfulfillment. It's like you want something that you don't have right now, but go and create it with our Ace of Wands. Then at the bottom here we have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a card of teamwork. Um, do make sure that you're communicating. If you're in a relationship, you have a partner, you're a team together. So make sure you're collaborating, make sure you're communicating. This could also be a card of expansion. So some of you could be expanding your family as well. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, also, this is a card of travel. There could be like a vacation or something, Gemini, that's getting canceled or having to be postponed. But now let's take a look at our fifth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guide. So something to carry into the month of September. We have the card potential. I love this card. This is all about reaching your full potential, Gemini, and seeing the potential in things. Um, overall, really strong card. It's like you use your energy in a very focused and creative way in order to reach your potential. But let's see what messages I can provide you here. The first card we have is the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is a card of low feelings. This could be like nightmare, anxiety, grief, depression. You're sitting up in bed worrying about something. And it's interesting if you have this deck of cards, um, the potential card, it talks about how athletes have to use their nervous energy in a positive way to then make them a better athlete. And this is going to hold true for you too, Gemini. We have to almost bottle up some of this worry or this distress or these nightmares and repurpose it in a positive way to take us towards our potential. So rather than worrying, there's something more productive that can be done. The next card that we have is the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is a card of desire for long-term security. There's something you want. There's something that you are not meeting your potential in that you want to move towards here. Um, so this is, again, that desire to reach that potential. And at the bottom here, we have the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card of stress, exhaustion, having too many burdens. You may be trying to accomplish too many things at this exact moment, Gemini. We're going to clarify this, but you may have to do some prioritization and focus in on a few things and get them across the finish line. Um, again, for some of you, I feel like we're doing too many things at once here. But let's take a look and clarify out this column. The first clarifier we have is the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a great money card. Um, it's lump sums of money. It's inheritance. Again, it's that large amount of money. For some of you, this could be retirement as well. Congratulations for those of you that is. But it's all about leaving a legacy. So there is some sort of move that you want to make. Potentially, you want some sort of lump sum of money, Gemini. Um, but it's like we need to worry less about what we want and it's more about executing at this point so we need to execute in order to reach this leaving a legacy to have this long-term success the next card that we have is the empress the empress is one of those good cards i like to see it anywhere this is a card of creation, a card of abundance. Um, the nice thing is, is you have a desire to have something and you have the Empress is saying that, okay, you have the ability to create it and you have the ability uh, to create it with abundance. So it's not like it's just a small win. It's going to be a very abundant win. Um, so try to put some of those worries to bed as well, Gemini, about being able to execute because with the Empress, again, this is saying you have the ability to create but we need to be using our energy in a positive way to create. And at the bottom here we have the hangman. This is a card of being stagnant, of being stuck. 
Again, you do need to prioritize a little bit. Instead of trying to do 10 things at once, Gemini, maybe focus on doing one or two and then move on to those. So uh, you can be kind of holding yourself back or making yourself stagnant. You're not making any progress by trying to make progress on everything all at once. But now let's take a look. I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're going to use our Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them really quick, Gemini. But for question number one, we have the Jack of Clubs. This is number 45 card. Um, that's going to be a yes. Question number two is the Jack of Spades. This is number 52 card. That's going to be a yes. And question number three is the Ace of Hearts. This is number 11 card. That one's going to be a no. So yes, yes, no for you, Gemini. We're also going to pull a card from our Healing Stones deck, which is a crystal to keep with you through the month of September. Your crystal this month is Aquamarine, which is good for ease. It helps strengthen your clairs. It gives you a really new drive on life helps keep you buoyant, um, and it's ease and depth nicely paired together. And last but not least, we're going to pull a card from our Healing Notes deck. Gemini, your Healing Note says, What we have once enjoyed, we can never lose. All that we love deeply becomes part of us. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you, Gemini. Um, again, those subscriptions help me greatly, so if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Also, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you again, Gemini, and I hope that you have a wonderful September.